Hello farmers, this is Priscilla Nyairia from Wonderful Heaven Fruits Orchard. I'm back with another video to educate you on how to take care of Wambugu apple fruits or plant. And today I'm just to my neighbor's place. Her name is Susan and this farm is called Emmanuel Orchards. Wow, from Wonderful Heaven to Emmanuel Orchards. So this is how is your farm show. Now let us learn from Susan. In our local dialects, we have a saying that say, Monafi That means that a prophet is not accepted in their own place. How did Susan got to accept the Wambugu apple? Yet other neighbors are not accepting it. Anyway, welcome as we learn from Susan. Susan, yes. welcome to Wonderful Heaven Orchard YouTube Thank channel. You. Thank you very much. I'm so excited to see your farm so attractive. So welcome, introduce yourself to our people. And also we want to know how did you get this idea of Wambugu apple farming? Not cabbages, not onions. Yes. Okay, good afternoon listeners. My name is Susan. Uh, I am a Nepal farmer in Laetitia East at a place called uh, Gobit Imenti. I am a neighbor of Mze Wambogo, of Wambogo Apple, and uh, that is why where I first saw the uh, apple farming, and I got interested. So I came here and I went to his farm, and I saw the apples, because where I'm born, we do apple farming, but it's a very cold place, so I, I was like, how? I know like it here is very hot. How can apple be in a hot place? So I wanted really to come and see for myself. And when I came, I went to his farm and I saw it. Then I said, I will buy a farm here. I will plant my apples here because I've seen it is doable. So I came to Wonderful Heaven, that is Martin's farm. And he's a son to the pioneer, Mr. Wambogo of Wambogo Apple. And that's where I bought my first seedling, the 200 pieces of uh, apple. I came and planted. My initial planting, I just dug the holes as they give us the measurement, two feet by two feet wide, two feet deep. And I did not put manure in the first place. So I just uh, planted. And after six months, that's the time I put manure. And my apple, they started producing apple on the eighth month. Wow. So. The 10th month, I had apples. And in February, I took my first fruits to my church. Wow. So for those people who say that Wambogo apple does not bear fruit, you have to really work hard. You cannot just plant a tree and sit and let it grow. No. no. You have to really work hard on it. You have to put manure. You have to put uh, uh, water. And you remove even the suckers that would even kill the Zion up here. So me, I know Wambogo apple is good and they yield fruits. For, for those people who complain that I bought Wambogo apple that, and they don't give uh, fruits, welcome to this Emmanuel Orchard farm. And you, you get see to learn that Wambogo apples really yield fruits. I mean, like keep here and it's very hot. And I have apples. I've taken my first fruits to church. And now this is the second crop. So please, people, I urge you, you plant Wambogo apples and you will never regret. You will never look back because they produce fruits. You have to take care. You have to really work hard for it, for it to take care of you in later years. Okay, so, sorry. So you started enjoying the fruits at eight months. At exactly eight months. Your first season. Yes. This is now your second. This is my second harvest. And it is after one year and... This is one year now, five months. Oh, Because I planted okay. in February yes. of last year but one. Wow. Yes. Well, this is so encouraging. Now somebody... May, you are talking... Last year, sorry. That last, last year, that's year, when you February. planted yes. your, your, your seedlings. Mm. Somebody may ask, what is this care you are talking about? You have to weed. Mm -hmm. You have to follow your feed. You have to find inside this place of ours. We have what I can say is frost. Yeah. So frost. you have to put fungicide. You have to fungicide your apple so that they don't get burnt by the cold winds. Mm -hmm. And also you have to feed the the, 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 the leaves. The leaves. With foliar. Mm -hmm. And also organic pesticide. All this we do is organic. We don't buy uh, 
insecticides from the agrovets. Mm -hmm. We do organic, such that that apple, you can just pluck it from the tree. You just rub it because of maybe the yeah. dust and you eat it. <laughs> Even a kid would come here and come back to the house with an apple and want to be like, oh my, I just pesticided mm -hmm. yesterday. Mm -mm. We do it organically. Wow. Yes. Okay. Now, how do you water your plants? We understand that this is like keep your end water is a challenge. And I also know that you don't have a borehole like us. Somebody may say you are succeeding in Wambugu apple farming because you people have borehole. And you are a very good example that you don't have to be having that big borehole or that big source of water to do it. How do you water it? Because I am also shocked how you water it. Bearing in mind it is in Laikipia, mm. how are you succeeding in, in it? Uh, here in, in uh, Gobit in Nenti, we have a project called Gobit Self Water, Self Help Water Project. Mm -hmm. That's where we get our water. And our water does not come every day. Yeah. We only get it, I think, twice a, twice a, a week. week. So I have a 5,000 liter tank. That's uh -huh. where my water comes in. So after I fill one night yeah. with the 5,000 liters, I start watering the following day. Yeah. And then the second day again, I start watering it. And I use a horse pipe because yeah. I don't have drip lines. Drip lines. And I make sure the three days that I water these 200 pieces of uh, apples, they all get more than 20 liters each, each. of water. Okay. So the 5,000 liters tank is feeding the 200 plants. I would say it goes for 10,000 or maybe 15 because the 5,000 is not enough. Since yeah. I put a lot of water since mm -hmm. they have manure yeah. and I don't want them to dry up. As a farmer, what would you say is the major challenge to your Wambugo apple plant? I don't think I have a challenge. <laughs> Me, I just say Wambogo plant, I mean Wambogo apple is just good because I don't have a challenge. Okay. There is water. Mm -hmm. It's only a matter of weeding and watering and mm -hmm. manuring. Mm -hmm. And okay, there's a lot of wind here, mm -hmm. but you can just put some windbreakers along the... So the wind, fence. yeah. Yes, it's wind. Otherwise, I can't say there's any other challenge. Because even if it's um, like the aphids, mm -hmm. because we have aphids, yes. those ones you can just uh, use the pesticide, which is organic, organic. Egg, yeah, and they'll just go. But again, for you, I have not seen any pest, any aphids to, in your farm, mm -hmm. simply because I'm thinking that it's because your farm is very clean. Yes. How do you maintain that your farm stays always, it is clean from weeds, very attractive? I have to hire labor, mm -hmm. people who come and uh, clean the pathways. Yes. I myself do the inside because I don't want anybody to tamper with the roots. Yes. Because I see the roots are up here. Yes. And somebody who is malicious can come and... Sure tamper with the roots. With the so plant. the laborer that would come, I just tell them to do the pathways. Yes. I myself, as old as I am, yeah. I do it inside. Wow. Yes. So you are giving it your own tender loving care. It's true because I also want it to take care of me. Yes. I don't want to borrow money from my children. I told God, God give me a project that would enable me to have my own money yes. and buy my own things. And even maybe give my children. Oh, okay. And this is it. God had my prayers and I really thank God. Yeah. Yes. So I ought to think that that's why you are doing the basin. We call this one basin. Mm -hmm. So this is the boundary between your care mm -hmm. and the laborer's care. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the other advantage of doing the basin is to make sure that all the water that you are giving this plant is only the plant that is feeding with it, exactly. other than just leaving it and pouring carelessly. Yes. Oh, nice. Mm. Okay, now in terms of manure, how often do you add your manure? You said that you didn't plant with manure. Yes. What now, I how did often? Initially, mm -hmm. uh, when the holes were dug, yes. I just put a quarter bucket because I had bought the manure according oh. to what Mr. Mbogo used to say. Yes. That you have to mix the one bucket with a, a, a one bucket of soil. Yes. For me, I took quarter bucket manure and I put the 200 holes and then I put the, the soil. Mm -hmm. And I spent two nights here watering these 200 holes, two whole nights. Yeah, because the water comes in night shifts. Yes. Yeah. So the third day, I water, uh, uh, me men and my, and my husband, we started planting. Yeah. So after that, that was now in February of 2022. 22. Mm -hmm. 
The other time I put manure was last year, December, for the mm -hmm. 200 apples. Mm -hmm. Now this other time I put manure is this month of July. Yes, and still mm -hmm. I did not manage to put all the 200 apples. The manure yes. I bought was little. Yes. But you can see even where the manure did not uh, reach, <laughs> we have fruits and they are big. Oh, and, uh, so you have some places that you have not put yes, the manure. Even yes, I didn't notice yes, I that. I think about maybe 50 holes. Oh. And I can see they have bigger fruits. Yes. So me, I really... It's because you're weeding. Yeah, and I recommend people to buy Wambogo apple. Wow. It's, it's wow. beautiful and you will love it. It, will, it won't let you down. If you don't let it down, take care of it. <laughs> it will take care of you in your old age or when you need it. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, we have farmers who are complaining about stunted growth or dormancy. Mm -hmm. How are you able to take care of that? Okay, I, I don't know about the dormancy or even stunted because initially when I planted, mm -hmm. there's a time uh, I planted some beans inside here. Yes. And when I stopped watering, because mm -hmm. I wanted now the beans to be ripe, yes. after harvesting, yes. I continued watering, but the trees were just stunted. Yeah. They, they were not dying, they were not growing. growing. So, no any change. Yes. I just came with a fork jembe, mm -hmm. and I po kind of po poked around, okay. and then I watered. Uh -huh. And from there, just they one night, one, one, one morning, and... I saw a great change. Yeah. Since then, I can't say there is any dormancy, there is any stunted growth. Mm -hmm. no. Other than the manure, what else do you apply to your roots? I don't apply anything. Mm -hmm. It's just manure and water. and water. That's what you apply to that your... That is what I put. Okay. Mm -hmm. I remember there was one of your plant that was at a certain place in this farm. Yes. And it had the... That one had stunted. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, I told you about it. Uh -huh. And you told me to put wood ash. Yes. And I put wood ash. I popped again uh -huh. and put water. And now it's... I think it's my rootland. Yeah. No, it's not even here. It's I think more than... it's a shoulder now. Yes. It's quite tall. Oh, okay. And I really thank you for the advice. <laughs> so even so, wood ash is helping. Yes. Okay. It does help. Yeah, it does help. Even mm -hmm. at this stage, it, because it has a lot of calcium. Mm -hmm. So, and calcium actually, when the plant starts producing the flowers, mm -hmm. it's asking for more potassium mm -hmm. and calcium. Mm -hmm. So, now we get to the other place where farmers are facing the challenges in flower abortion. Mm -hmm. We will move from this particular plant which has flowers and go to another plant that has fruits. Mm -hmm. How are you able to cope or to avoid your flowers from a boating. Or okay. have you ever suffered this flower abortion problem? Yeah, I do. Yes. But uh, on the other hand, mm -hmm. I do apply potassium mm -hmm. and calcium foliars. Yeah. And still you would see that there are some fruits which would fall and yeah. some flowers. Yeah. And I said maybe that is nature's way oh, no of more. behaving. Mm -hmm. Be I mean, a tree behaving because... By the end of the month, I have fruits, yes. even if the flowers fall. But the calcium and the potassium, they really make them be strong. Okay. So your flowers. secret is potassium, potassium and calcium. Organic. Yes, it's organic. Okay. Yes. Nice. Now, other than the fungal infection you told us about, which is the other problem or the other disease that you have ever encountered in this plant, in this Wambugu apple journey, okay. and also how many plants were affected and at what stage? Okay. The other challenge I saw in this uh, Wambugu apple mm -hmm. uh, is called the powdery mildew. Mm -hmm. Like you see this plant here? Yeah. It had that powdery mildew. Mm -hmm. It is something that becomes whitish on whitish the stem. Whitish on the stem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, I just plucked off the the head. 
that mm-hmm. had the powdery mildew. Okay. And I applied aloe vera gel. I just plucked aloe vera because I have planted some. I was just experimenting, by the way. Okay. <laughs> so I just took the aloe vera, cut it into two, in, or cut it in the middle, and then I applied the the aloe vera. Yes. That time, this plant, mm-hmm. it was so emaciated. It didn't look healthy. It had very few branches and very few leaves. Mm-hmm. So after I put the aloe vera gel, after I think two or three weeks when I came back here, it had flowers all over. Mm-hmm. And as you can see now, it looks healthy. Yes. It has very many flowers. And I mean, fruits. many, many, very many fruits. Yeah. So I would say the aloe vera really helped. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is the same that you applied the goat milk. Okay, for the goat milk, I applied another one. I think this one. Yes. And now you can see it has two big fruits. To so cure the, the same problem. Yes. Okay, oh. that one is for preventing the, oh. the goat milk. Any milk, as okay. long as you dilute it. Yes. And you, you splash you when, it is, yeah, when it is very hot or it's shiny. Yes. It will prevent or cure the powdery mildew. Oh. Also the aloe vera. Aloe vera is also, uh, it prevents the, the powdery mildew. Oh. Yes. So I would nice. recommend the milk, be it goat or cows and the aloe vera. They For that pro- yes. problem. Yes. Somebody, I saw someone asking about how to cure the whitish stuff. That is the specific word the person used. So she's doing the aloe vera mm-hmm. and the goat milk. Yes. Oh, and the milk, let's say milk, any kind of milk. Yes. Okay, the but other... To dilute the milk. Oh, so it is... It is not the flesh milk, you have to dilute it. Like if, if you put a, maybe a quarter, let's say a half a cup, mm-hmm. you have to put like two cups in that milk. Oh. Because okay. if you don't do that, mm-hmm. when the sun comes, it will scorch the leaves. Oh. So you prevent that with diluting that milk. Okay. Mm-hmm. And okay. you don't put the milk when it is cold. Uh-huh. When it has it to is be shining, when it is very hot, so that it can, that milk, uh-huh. the, the, the film of the milk, yes. it will come and burn that powdery milk. Oh, okay. So it's the heat in your milk together with the milk, the butter. The heat from the sun, mm-hmm. now plus, plus maybe the butter or the protein in the milk. Yes. It will come and remove that powdery milk. Wow, wow, wow. Mm-hmm. And again, I can see your plant has branches. Mm-hmm. There is no, not even a single plant that is having one single stem. Okay. What is the secret behind your healthy bushy plants? Okay, now about the branches, when my fruits were about, I think, six months old, mm-hmm. they were not producing branches. Yeah. So what I did, I just came and pinched the head. Okay. You pinch the head. Mm-hmm. If the branch is more than six inches, yeah. you pinch, or it's one meter, you pinch. You pinch all round, yeah. and you foliar feed. Okay. So after foliar feeding organically, give it like a month. Now that pinching you have done, mm-hmm. it will send the energy in this plant to go down, mm-hmm. to look for where it's going to get out, and by that, it will start producing branches. That's wow. what I did. Okay, mm. nice. Yes. So that is what we call tipping. Yes. Cutting the head. And heads. also, it will take back your season. Oh. So if I'm expecting the season two months, it, it will take it back. Uh huh. Unless now the tree is maybe past one year, two months. Yeah. That time you, you pinch, yeah. it will produce the branches as uh-huh. well as the flowers. But mine I did when they were, I think, six months. Yes. So they were still young. Yes. So instead of the flowers, I had the branches. Oh, okay. And you do that so that you get a lot of branches mm-hmm. and also you make them strong mm-hmm. to hold the fruit. Because I've seen Wambogo apples, mm-hmm. they really make uh, like big one. fruits, heavy fruits. Mm-hmm. Now, if the branch is weak, surely if you get in a branch like two Wambogo apples fruits, it will break. But after pinching mm-hmm. that, branch will become strong it can hold even five or six or even ten fruits okay it will be strong so you are pinching for two purposes one is to uh, to make it have more branches Uh 
and then the other one to make, make the stem strong. The the stem strong. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. but again, the wambugu apo can't break. What it does, mm -hmm. si since the the stem is very flexible, mm -hmm. it just bends. Okay. After you harvest your apples, it will then get back to its original yeah, position. Yeah. Because now me, I'm treating it like my baby. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to have big fruits and then only to come here and see, oh, it's they broken. Are, no, no. And no. that is where I'm waiting to get money from. <laughs> it doesn't break. Okay. It will just bend. Wow, that's then nice. after you harvest your plants, mm -hmm. it will get back to its position. Wow, that's good. It's good to hear that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the other way we are encouraging people to avoid. Now you can imagine this plant is only one year and five months. Five months. Mm -hmm. And you have already started to support. Yes. It has few apples. Mm -hmm. In one year time, it will have more than this, more than double whatever it's having mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. So you will, you will have like, you have planted the plant and you also have so many sticks in the farm. Mm -hmm. So that's why we are encouraging people to, to you decrease the distance, the difference between the plants. Make sure you increase between the rows. Okay. So if you are working with 1.5 meters, make sure you are now working with not less than three different, three meters difference between the rows. Okay. Yeah. To avoid supporting the plant when it starts to fruit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now the other question, what are you, because we have seen these plants have already matured or the flowers are now the fruits. Mm -hmm. What I, what is the pollinator you are using? Bees. I bees. just find bees coming here. <laughs> <laughs> so you know bees what? come. Yes, what I had done, uh -huh. there were so many uh, plants here. Yeah. In Kiku, we call them Okay. And they produce... They are weeds. Yeah, they are weeds. They, okay, produce, they produce purple <laughs> flower. Oh. So I saw all the bees are going to that plant mm -hmm. and they are not coming to my fruit. Apples. So I decided I'm going to get this thing removed, all of it, uh -huh. so that when, when the bees come, they'll be attracted by the, the, the apple fl flowers. Yes, by the apple flowers. So after that, that is what when I see I saw the difference. Oh, so they started coming now to the to the uh, the apples. Oh, okay. I don't have. So you don't do hand eye. pollination or? No, 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 I don't. The bees, you depend on the bees. But again, for the Wambugu, even if you don't have the bees, the plant is self-pollinating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I believe it can pollinate between two. When I look around, I see it's like all of them. In fact, I think there are less than maybe 30 that don't have fruits. Fruits, yeah. The rest, and they have fruits. And for and those who don't, don't have fruits, fruit, they have the flowers. Yes. Wow. Mm. This is so encouraging. I really like the Wambugu. Mm -hmm. Yes, People yes. should plant. This tree is good. Uh -huh. It's money. It's money. And it will make you laugh all wow. the way to the bank. Nice. <laughs> you have tasted it. I have tasted it. Great. In Wamboko apples, we have the giant and um, the dwarf Wamboko apples. And in your farm, I have seen some are dwarf and the other ones are giant. Which one is the best for you? Or you even don't know the difference. You have seen some are producing well, still short, some are tall. Yes. Okay, in my case, I wouldn't know because uh, when I bought the seedlings, I didn't know there were dwarfs and there was the giant. Uh -huh. When I planted now, when they started yielding the fruits, the time I'm seeing, oh, the dwarfs are producing a lot uh -huh. of fruits and they are big. Uh -huh. While the giants now are producing the flowers. Yes. So if you happen to buy the fruits and maybe when you plant, you see some are dwarfs, some are tall. Yes. Don't get disturbed. By the end, they'll fruit all. <laughs> all will produce flowers and they'll produce fruit. Your aim is to produce the fruits. Yes. Okay, like for for now, we are, we are seeing this small, mm -hmm. very short, even not one meter plant yes. having the fruits already. Yes. The difference between dwarf and giant, gi the dwarf will start producing while still very young and will have more fruits compared to the giant yes. but now after two years mm -hmm. that's where now giant comes and show its giant production mm -hmm. and overtakes <coughs> the dwarf because by then it has more branches mm -hmm. it is tall enough 
and also the branches are stronger than the dwarf. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to having it commercially, mm -hmm. I would recommend you mix like the way we did for you. You didn't know, you have just realized after your plant started to produce. Mm -hmm. You can have both the the dwarf, the dwarf and the giant at the same place. Because again, giant and dwarf, they don't produce the flowers at the same time, mm -hmm. as I've you have seen. That, yeah, yeah. Dwarf, the dwarf will start and then giant. So if you have both the varieties, mm -hmm. you will find that you have the fruits whole throughout the year. Because after now the giant, the dwarf season is over, mm -hmm. you get into giant season. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I don't know. that's wow. how they, they behave. And you can see here, yes, right now, now, dwarf are doing it. Mm -hmm. But for the giant, mm -hmm. it's time they are starting to produce the flowers. The flowers. Yes. yes. Okay. That's good. I didn't know that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's how they do. That is the difference. Okay. I've seen people asking the difference between dwarf and giant or bugu apple. Oh. The first difference is physically. Those who want for balcony, in those living in the apartments, dwarf is the best variety for you because it's portable yeah. and very easy. You can even put it in a pot and you, you'll be moving with it. Mm -hmm. But for a giant, it's, it will grow to be a big plant. Mm -hmm. Since you have said that there are dwarfs and there is a giant, mm -hmm. when I come to buy, mm -hmm. I wouldn't know if there is a giant or a dwarf. Yes. How? Do you people know this is a giant and this is a dwarf? Okay, that is a very good question. But physically, you can see the physical appearance. That is the leaves of my dwarf wambugu apples and giant wambugu apples. They don't have a physical difference when you're looking at them. Not unless it is after planting, that's when you'll come to realize that it is dwarf. So what we do while grafting, we put the dwarf separate from the giant. We don't just put them together because if we put them together or mix or graft them at the same place, it will also confuse us because seeing the difference physically is not easy, not, not easy, not unless I go and transplant and see the behavior while on the soil. Okay. Yes. So you cannot just look at it and say, this is a dwarf, this is a giant. You will realize the difference after transplanting. Mm -hmm. So if somebody wants dwarf, the best way to do is you ask for dwarf. Just say, I want for my compound and I just want a dwarf wambugu apple. Then we'll give you the dwarf wambugu apple. But for your case, you don't know the difference in dwarf or ju you just you just said you want wambugu apple. Mm -hmm. And that's why we had to mix the dwarf mm -hmm. and the giant. Okay. Yeah. You have stayed with the wambugu apple for more than one year. We can say that. Mm -hmm. What is the other thing or something that somebody should note? And this thing can mess. If the person doesn't take, it, they take care of that one, it can mess all the plants. Okay, the other thing I noticed is uh, when you are planting the seedling, mm -hmm. there is that portion where the two trees are joined mm -hmm. is the rootstock the grafting area yes the graf grafting area so where they are joined make sure when you are planting because we say you dig a, a, a hole that is two feet deep mm -hmm. when you are returning your soil you don't cover the graft joint mm -hmm. because once you cover it with soil mm -hmm. after some time it will start producing roots very many fruits i mean roots uh -huh. and that will make your apple stagnant. So you have to let it be up on the <laughs> soil and always make sure it doesn't have soil covering it. As you okay. can see my apple here, that is a mistake I did I, I didn't know. Yeah. So I buried it. And I had some stunted trees and I was like, what's happening? So one day I just got up and I came and dug and I saw there were so many roots. Oh, from called, the grafting area? Yeah, it's called Zion rooting. Uh -huh. So what I did, I had to hire a laborer. Uh, he came, removed the soil. I took a knife mm -hmm. and I had to cut all that roots. Oh. Again, that is taking back the fruit, the, the, the plant. Another season back. Oh. Because now of that stunted growth, because mm -hmm. now it is like it's shocked. Yeah. You have 
removed the, the, the roots that were feeding it. So when you're planting, you have to be very careful. <laughs> Let that graft joint be up, up, up. Okay, and so you've, you're you not covering your, it. Yes, oh. your apple won't have any problem. So what was the roots doing to the plant? Now it's like they were feeding the top plant mm -hmm. and they were killing the rootstock. Because I uprooted one. Yes. I wanted to see what's happening. Oh. And I saw the rootstock was like the size of my finger. It, it was, was eaten. Oh. So oh, yes. I was having now another type of fruit or plant. But now the rootstock is grow. dying. Yes. So eventually the whole plant, the whole will, plant die. will die. Oh. Mm. And since that, when I remove those uh, mm -hmm. roots, mm -hmm. now I can see my fruits. They are doing well. Okay. Now we are talking about the plants dying. How many of your plants, out of the 200 plants you transplanted, mm -hmm. how many died? None. I had really prayed, Jesus Christ, I told him, you know what I ask you. Uh -huh. I'm asking you for a project. And these Wambogo apples, my God, do not let, not even one, wither. Sure. And give me the strength and ability mm -hmm. to work on them. My 200 plants are there. The None. only one that I would say had a mishap is um, when they In were the being graft. transported by the motorbike rider, yes. they fell. Okay. And one graft broke. Broke. But the plant is still... But the plant is still growing. In fact, it's very healthy. Yes. So I can't say... I Not I even one. So with proper one. care. With proper care. A hundred percent. hundred percent. They will grow. All of them. Wow. Wow. Uh, wow. Yours is just take the care, water and manure and weeding. Mm -hmm. And for your feeding and pesticiding with organic foliars mm -hmm. and organic pesticides. Mm -hmm. And you'll have beautiful yielding wambogo apples. Wow, 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 wow. I'm so shocked. Not even, Not one. even one. I also transplant. Two hundred plants, they are still there. I also transplant, but some die. So you are even challenging me. I transplanted somewhere to my farm. More than 5,000 plants, mm -hmm. but I got 100 dying. So I'm like, you transplanted 200 and all of them survived. That is so, mm, your hands are blessed. Maybe, 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 I, I really can't be <laughs> yes. Maybe there was something wrong with maybe the watering. Yes, maybe the now, watering. If you put a lot of manure or you mm -hmm. put manure and you don't water, it will affect the plant. It Ooh. will die. Okay, so also, I think it's because the, the, the farm that I transplanted my apples is not where I stay. Okay. So even the care, I'm depending on somebody's care. Mm -hmm. And for you here, it's 100%. It's percent. <laughs> you even at night, yes. you are even coming to? Yeah, at night I just feel like I'm here yes. and looking at them. So with Wambogo Ape, I don't advise somebody to do tele mm -hmm. Or you employ somebody that you have planted these so many fruit, mm -hmm. uh, plants. You take care of them, you water them. Uh, you have to be there. Wow. If it is on the weekend, yes, make let sure them you be get watered there. when you are there. Make sure they are watered. Yes. Water properly. Flood them with water so that if you are going to come back on Saturday, the next <laughs> Saturday, yes. they'll still be having water. Yes. Otherwise, if you rely on people, they'll be telling you, oh, yes, we put water. But they didn't because they have other uh, things to do. Then, oh. And you know this tree is expensive. Now, yes. losing one, you're losing 1,000 shillings. Yes. So you have to take and do your own. Losing one. Yes. Mm -hmm. So me, I would say, because like mine, as I say, we don't have much water. Water, yes. I water once a week. Wow. And I make sure I really flood them with water. Mm -hmm. So even if I was to go somewhere, I can mm -hmm. go stay for one week. And I know. Your, your plant has water. It has water. Wow. Yes. Wow, wow, wow. So telephoning is out. It's out. Okay, I would say this is like having a wife or a husband. Mm -hmm. The same way you cannot trust somebody with your wife. Exactly, exactly. Like you say, I have left my wife with a certain man. The man will take care of that wife. Mm -hmm. So planting Wambogu apple, make sure it is like marrying a wife mm -hmm. or a husband. You have to take care of that wife directly yes. without having somebody that you have employed to take care exactly. of that particular plant. Exactly. Yes. Because now, you see now, if I had left them in the care of somebody mm -hmm. with that problem of those roots, roots. 
and even the stunting. Some will and not this, realize. This soil of ours is cotton soil. Yes. Maybe somebody puts a lot of water excessively, like <laughs> twice a week, and mm -hmm. I would have found things to have gone bad. Okay, let's now talk about transplant shock. After transplanting, did the plant suffer transplant shock, like shedding the leaves or some drying up, the, the, the leaves drying up? No, I didn't mm -hmm. see that. In fact, drying of the leaves, I've seen it now. Yeah. And I was like, is it a disease or what? Oh. So I really prayed God and I told God, <laughs> remember what I told you? Remember my tithing, remember my offering. Mm -hmm. And my prayer that I told you, do not allow, not even one, mm -hmm. to go dry. So when they started becoming brown, the leaves were brown, mm -hmm. they were dry, they were falling off. I prayed for them. Kumbe, they were shedding the leaves for them to produce the flowers and oh, the fruits. Okay. So they were the leaves were shedding to give the flowers a chance to grow. Yes. Wow. When you have come here like two, three weeks ago. Yes. In fact people used to pass here and uh, maybe they were talking things but Yes, you don't yeah, care. Yes, prayed God. <laughs> and that's when you see them with a lot of flowers. Yes. That one didn't have any leaf. Oh. They became brown, yellow, mm -hmm. some purple, very funny colours. Mm -hmm. And they all fell off. After some time, mm -hmm. I started seeing some flowers, green, green, green. Oh, After some time, flowers. I saw some flowers. And I oh. Like, oh, so they were shedding the leaves to give way to the flowers. Yes. And now they have fruits. Okay. So some of the plants are shedding. Some, that particular plant shed all the leaves. All. And it was left naked. It was left naked. Okay. In that case, you find that the plant was not having that much water. It on the roots having, yeah so what the plant was doing you know this plant communicates mm -hmm. it was shedding the leaves or doing away like at that particular time the plant doesn't need the leaf mm -hmm. it needs the flower and it wants to produce the flowers mm -hmm. so and doesn't have enough water on the roots so what it will do and it also it actually loses water through the leaves mm -hmm. So it will tell that system that it is operating with. I, for now, I will do away with the leaves mm -hmm. to give chance or enough water for this newborn baby which is coming out. Mm -hmm. That the is flowers. the flowers. Mm -hmm. So that's why you find that some of them will shed the leaves to make sure that no water is wasted. All the water and all the energy is now concentrating to our flower. Okay. Yes. Some of them will behave that way. If it is a case of flower, mm -hmm. flowering time, mm -hmm. yes. Now, to start this project, somebody needs money. Where did you, of course you were not here before then, where did you source your money from to do this? Even if not that big, where did you source your capital from? To start this project, I had to sell my property yes. in Nairobi. What? Because I was unable to complete that project uh -huh. it was a plot i yes. was unable to uh, build it uh -huh. and uh, when i heard about the apple uh -huh. apple farming uh, i discovered a farm is far much better in my case yes because now i don't have income when i was in nairobi uh -huh. here i'll come and plant my beans my yeah. apples my spinach my skooma i can mm. put um I can have a goat that I'll be milking, yeah. which I have, yes. and I can keep some chicken, which will be giving me eggs. eggs. So since I came here, I don't regret having left Nairobi. Yeah. Because here I do sleep. In Nairobi, I had a lot of stress because yeah. I was not working. I used to go to Middle East yeah. countries and work there, mm -hmm. educate my children. When the money gets finished and I'm getting old, you can go back there when sure. you're 50 years. So when I bought this farm, I had to buy the 200 apples, mm -hmm. and also I bought a dairy goat from Martin, mm -hmm. and it has really helped me because since I came, I've never bought milk, yeah. <laughs> and now it is expecting a second child. Yeah, the, the first uh, feed it had 
I gave it as a thanks deed in offering wow. to my church, wow. my God. Uh-huh. And now it's expecting again. I also have spinach there. There is a time I planted some beans mm-hmm. in this hole. A quarter kg of yellow bean. Mm-hmm. I harvested 38 kilograms of yellow bean. A quarter? Yes. That was before they started flowering. Mm-hmm. When they were, I think, three months old, yeah. I planted the beans. Mm-hmm. And they started, they gave me that 38 kilograms mm-hmm. out of a quarter kg. Mm-hmm. So I really find a farm mm-hmm. to be of much value. Yeah. Yes. So in your story, it gives me this kind of respecting someone's coin. We find that you you actually had to do away with something. You are just telling me I sold something dear to me. Yes. So d- <laughs> don't confuse me to come into this farming and again I just mess oh, up great. on my way. Yes. I could remember you telling me so many times I sold something dear to me. Mm-hmm. And other than you planting the wambogo up, I can f- see that it brought you some peace in Nairobi, mm-hmm. even the air is not flesh. I start from there when I'm talking to my city people. You are, you start with air is not flesh. So it is lowering your immunity because you have a lot of things that are actually making your, the air not to be flesh. Lowering your immunity. Again, you have to pay a lot of bills other than even if you are staying in your own home from parking, from parking, water, electricity. electricity here you are using solar. Yes. Here I'm using solar. Water is community water, which is very, very cheap. cheap. In other words, at the end of month, you are saving, not spending. Exactly. Spinach, you are getting it from, from your farm. farm. Cabbage, you are getting it from the farm. The milk, onions, milk, eggs, eggs onions. The so. beans, the, the, I planted also the yellow maize I bought uh-huh. from your husband. Yes. And uh, I sold them after harvesting. Yellow maize? Yes. Wow. I harvested, uh-huh. I think... I harvested more than 100 kg. Mm-hmm. I had to give And you had planted how many? Just one, uh, two kilograms. Okay. And I gave it out to my friends. Uh-huh. Because I was and you like, also yeah, sold it. Where will I sell it? Oh. But finally, I sold it. <laughs> <laughs> and even the person who bought them was asking me, do you have more? No. I said no. Wow. 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 It's also it. a way of encouraging you to save yes. more, yes. more and more. Mm-hmm. So... That's why when somebody asks me for seedlings, I always make sure I give you something that will not let you and me down. Because you are offering money to me, which it is in exchange of my quality seedling, not just a plant, quality Wambogo apple seedling. So if you are to come into Wambogo apple farming, don't fear, I will give you Quality seeding. You find that for her, she has, she has 200 and none died. Yes. That is encouraging. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I have to really take care of it because one seedling costs 1,000. Yes. So I really have to take care of it. Sure. And I also sure. pray God for, uh, for it to grow well. Yes. Yes. Wow. Mm-hmm. Now, in terms of intercropping, why have you chosen only apples and not any other, not dragon fruit? not even the pomegranate I've seen, you have just planted them as a by the way. But the main crop is apples. Why did you decide to come to where we are and not any other place? Because I wanted to be near you, the pioneers, mm-hmm. so that if I see my apple has a problem, you will even I'll walk. walk to your place <laughs> and tell you, this leaf is behaving like this, this wow. plant is behaving like this, what can I do to mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. because now if i go to nairobi i don't know where to get organic uh, fertilizers yes. or foliar from but when i'm here you will tell me this is what we use yes we use organic and i really wanted to do organic yeah. that's why i said i have to buy a farm near you the wambogo family mm-hmm. the wambogo apple family yes <laughs> yes so you can say it's an added advantage to it be is, near exactly yeah. because now, if I have a problem with them, I just call or I come. Yes, you yeah. walk. Now, if I was somewhere like Kitengela or that far place, yes, it won't be possible. Yeah. And you cannot even just take a photo and send it to you that my apple is behaving like this. Mm-hmm. Okay. You'll advise me. You use organic pesticide, but yes. where I am, where will I get the organic pesticide? Okay. I don't know people. Yes. So that's why I chose to come and mm-hmm. stay near you people so mm-hmm. that... 
you tell me where to buy the organic foliars, the, the organic pesticides, and the fungicides. Okay, and the other thing I love about you is that you never give up. Even if it means calling us 10 times in a day or 20, that's why your farm is doing well, because you are not ignorant of not even a single sign. Susan is that kind of a person who will call because of only this one leaf. Mm -hmm. She's like, my leaf is looking like this. How should I do it? What is wrong with my plant? And even if you don't have, you don't respond to her immediately, she will call back. Mm -hmm. So that is the persistence we ask from our customers. This is what you are calling biological trap. Okay, how does it work? I know nothing about this. Well, uh, this trap works as a trap for the insects that come to pierce the fruits. Mm -hmm. I've seen so many in insects love sweet fruits like mangoes, mm -hmm. the oranges. So to be on the safe side as a preventative measure, mm -hmm. I just decided to buy two because, well, I've never been into agriculture. Yes. This is my first time. And uh, as I'm saying, this fruit is very dear to me. Yes. I didn't want them to be eaten by any insect. Okay. So, so you to are be on the safe side, even after putting the nets, mm -hmm. I had to put at least two of the biological traps. Just in case mm -hmm. there are some insects which would come to eat the fruits. How does it work? Because I can see it has some stuff inside. Yeah. Are they the one that trap the insect or how does it work? Okay. The thing that is inside, mm -hmm. it's normally uh, smeared or they put something called pheromone. Mm -hmm. And that pheromone is like a smell from, I think, the male uh, insects. Mm -hmm. When they want to mate with the female mm -hmm. they multiply okay. so if you can be able to trap all the males the female won't have anywhere or it won't multiply they won't okay. multiply and so this one traps only the male yes oh. because it gives the smell mm -hmm. of an insect so it will be attracted thinking it's a female that is inside, inside there. there so oh. once it is inside it will be trapped and that is the end of it Okay, so it's finishing the generation through the finishing male. the generation. But wow. so far, I haven't trapped anything. I don't think they, they are fruit Maybe fruit they, fruit they are no fruit fruit I don't know. Yeah. Maybe the fruits are still young. I don't know. It's because your farm is very clean hmm. from weeds. You know the weeds are the one that comes with those pests. Okay. So it's only apples. Okay. You will not have so many challenges of pests mm -hmm. and diseases. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I don't know how to thank you. But the only way I will thank you... I've carried a small gift for you and this is in form of plants so I want you we plant these plants with you and you name them after me I am Priscilla Nyairia and for those who want to call me in farming profession they call me Priscilla Nyairia Reaboli <laughs> you know some call me the African fruit farming princess or queen so you will call them Priscilla and the other one Nyairia, then the other one African fruit farming queen. So let's go. You are the one to show us where to plant. Yeah.
the gifts and this is what you are seeing this is where my plant was planted you can see make sure you don't cover this particular part so that you avoid all the inconveniences and diseases now because the water shift is not here we will only plant that one and then the other one she will plant after the water is here this is a very big challenge to those people who have boreholes they have water with them we have people who have even more than a thousand acres and they have boreholes but the lands are just bare not giving them back the money they bought or either the one they drilled the borehole with so susan is here she doesn't have the borehole she's depending on our community water to do the farming and she's succeeding so why not you who have water who have land and you are not coming into this profitable wambogo apple farming so now thank you very much susan personally i have benefited and i've seen some of the things that you are doing and i'm also not doing this is the other advantage of visiting different farmers the more you visit many people the more you get to see the the yeah the way they are doing things this is the show that i was telling you about we call this how is your farm and i've seen susan's farm is amazing you know she is even challenging me anyway i want to know how is your farm thank you very much for watching my today's video i am your host priscilla nyairia we have really learned in this emmanuel farm this is how is your farm show if this video has really encouraged educated or even added some value to your life make sure that you subscribe you like and share to somebody who is willing to come into wambogo apples for those who had fear in it you have now learned from susan